we're gonna get some red-headed agamas. It's an invasive species that's all over South Florida. What on the Ow! Oh. Almost got my birthmark. <laughs> oh, there's one big male in that tree. Oh, yeah. he's sexy. Oh, I see him. He's trying to hide. He oh. Got him! Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. No, no, I'm the guy who's gonna catch all these lizards out here. I am the lizard king. You're inviting me to your house to catch your lizards? Okay, okay. Uh, why don't you write write your uh, address and phone number on a ticket? New spot. Okay. New spot. Okay. Okay. Hey, say say what's up. Say what's up. What's up, y'all? Channel is the man. He comes here every day. This is the man, and uh, oh. I'm terrified. Every time I watch this video, he gonna get bit. Yeah, he gonna die. I'm like, no, not today, Channel. And today. that's why they watch. <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good, baby. I'm good. All right, y'all have a good one, okay? I didn't get my drink. Why? I didn't get any <laughs> my drinks. <laughs> Chandler, we appreciate. Are you coming out to Hatch Fest? I so I told my kids about it, so they are really like excited. So Let's gonna, do it, August 29th. Gatorama Hatch Fest, you're gonna be able to hatch out baby alligators. You've gotta I be told there. Them and like, You'll meet what? Shay. You'll meet Shay. Say what's up, Shay. What's, what's up? Talking? I will be there. I'm definitely gonna be there. Alright, no more jokes. <laughs> mm, serious time. Stone do serious face. Mm. We're gonna get some red-headed agamas. It's an invasive species that's all over South Florida. Honestly, even in North Florida, haven't you seen them in Augustine? Everywhere. The first time we caught them was like five years ago in Miami. So Never up here in Fort Pierce. Never caught them up here, but we're gonna make it happen today. So today we're gonna go for these lizards. And you know what's funny? Stone and I used to do this when we were little kids to make money. We didn't have any jobs, we were miners. And we'd literally just go and catch as many redheaded agamas as possible and sell them to a reptile wholesaler who then resold them as pets. And we'd make like, I don't know, like what, $3 a piece on them? Something like yeah, that? Yeah, two, three bucks a pop. So we're just little kids catching redheaded agamas all day long, making money, and that's how we uh, that's how we paid off for our Chick-fil-A bill. That, that was a lot of money back in the day, man. <laughs> for real, it's time to hunt. We're uh, hunting is a place. The redheader right there! Get him, brother! Right there, you see him on the tree? You see him on the tree? Look, it's a male. He's sexy. Look at him, he's right there. Oh, there's a female and a male. Did the male go up? Yeah, I think so. This tree is so thick. I don't know if I can penetrate it. Uh, let me see what I can do. This is a nice tree. Wait, <laughs> where'd he go? Give me a lift. Up, 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 up. Just start shaking it, brother. Ah! <laughs> I don't see him. Let's go to another tree. Alright, there's one down there. Where? Oh, oh. Alright, one of the best ways to catch these is to have somebody walk all the way around and you basically guide them behind the tree. You tell them higher or lower, wherever the lizard is, and they reach around and they grab it. Ah, I gotta wait. Alright. Uh, I should pull my truck over there where all the trees are lined up. <sighs> Starbucks sponsor me. Enough playing around. Let's get some agamas. Oh, there's a male. All right, we're gonna do the thing. I'm gonna tell you to go around, I'm gonna tell you higher or lower, and you'll reach around and go. This is a technique we develop as children to make money. All right, that's fine. You went up the tree, this is our other technique. I'll go up there like a spider monkey, scare him out, he's like that. Get him, brother. All right, now what Chandler's doing is he's climbing up this tree and what these lizards will do when they feel cornered is they'll actually jump out of the tree onto land. It's kind of like a suicide jump. So we're gonna see if we can get this lizard to jump out of this tree into my hands. Wait, are these power lines? Yeah, but it's okay, you'll be good, brother. Okay, get under the tree. I got it. Oh, oh go, 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 get it. Got you it. Get it. I got one. Yes. I got one. It looks like a little female. There should be a male up there somewhere. Let me see if I can find him. This lizard literally jumped 20 foot out of that tree into my hand. Where's the other one? I don't know, he might be on another limb. I'm we coming down with the male? We got a female, but we need the male. We gotta show that they're sexually dimorphic. <laughs> now look in this lizard's mouth. He literally has teeth like a vampire. Oh. <laughs> Super girl landing. 
Let's see this little beauty. Whoa. Wait, that's a male. Dude. Is it a male? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, don't bite me. I just thought it was a nice looking female. Let's see. I right. oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. We got some some peepees in there, some little push pops. Dude, this isn't even a big one. We gotta find a beast, but this is the red-headed Agama. This is very mediocre right here, but look at the colors on it. But very, very handsome. Very beautiful. They kinda look like a bearded dragon with those spikes on the sides. They got ears, you can see right there, the ears of the lizard, he can hear perfectly. So you he could hear me sneaking up on him in that tree. Oh, <laughs> it's quiet like. But what's really cool about these lizards is notice he's turning purple. Usually they're super red and they got the blue body. But when they get stressed out, they'll turn purple right around here. And mostly when they end up biting somebody. So uh, <laughs> we're going to show you guys how they turn purple. There we go. One chomp. And you'll notice in a couple moments, there's going to be more and more purple appearing. You can already see it right there. Look at Look that. Look at that. Look at that purple. Whoa, whoa, relax, relax. And notice this animal has a beautiful like dark blue black tip on that tail. When they get older, their head is super vibrant red. Beautiful lizard. But you know what? He got way bigger. We gotta see a better version of this lizard. We're gonna take this guy because he's invasive, introduced from Africa because of the pet trade. So I guess we'll give him as a gift to our little cousins and whatnot. They can have him as pets. So we're home these little invasive babies. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, here at Wal I mean, Walgreens is over there, but the Walgreens parking lot. Make that the thumbnail. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, oh, oh, look. Look. More purple. More purple. Look at that. Wow. All right. We have a little box. We're gonna go put him in there and let's go climb some more trees. Is there anyone in this one? Nope. Okay. Good catch, brother. Bro, good teamwork. Are you kidding yeah. me? Dude, get he it, literally jumped it, from the top it, of the tree. Native village, brothers. And that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I am the lizard king, and this is my fellow king right here. Five years later, brothers. Still got it. Brothers. So I got a snake bag right here, and we'll just start putting them in the snake bag, and they'll stay in the snake box, and we'll see how many we can collect. Well, we're not going to like cram a whole bunch of them in one bag and have them hurting each other, so we'll separate them and make little dividers in the bag. But look at that, we got our first red-headed agama from Africa, go, baby. right here in Fort Pierce, Florida, and actually all over Florida, even the middle of the state, like near Ocala and Okeechobee, it's crazy. These guys are like the new invasive species in Florida. Popping they're, up they everywhere. took over, they took everywhere. over the past like decade. They're on the west coast, the east coast, they're down in Miami. Hey, hey, let's have cheers. Let's smile. I'll take this one. Unless you want me to have that To one. the red-headed agamas. To the red-headed agamas. Mm. Sponge me, Starbucks. Love that sweet cream. We're at another secret spot, Chick-fil-A. Whoop, a little war scar from uh, catching these lizards. Oh my god, look at on the top. Oh, look at the top. There's two big nails Inside. Tell them you want to buy propane. Okay. <laughs> Tell them you want to buy propane. Go, go, go. They said no. Get off the property. They said get off the property. Moonswiners. Oh, Moonswiners. Another great spot to find redheaded agamas. Delicious pork sandwiches. Wait, they're not. Sponsor me and I'll talk about your pork sandwiches. Anyways, redheaded agamas. Let's get it. And they all the green beans here. We don't have time to eat. Back road. Whee! Yeah. Mud hole! Mud hole! Mud hole! Oh, that's <laughs> right Remember that curb. giant male that was over by this Dollar Tree last time? Yeah. Oh, we were running along that wall. I yeah, we were remember. trying so hard to get him. We never got him. All right. I come to collect my debt, and it's a red-headed agama. I see all his children. He's been. Oh, oh there's wives. a female. Women. Stop! You go She's running fast. So. Wow, that was fast. I think that one has like eggs. Yeah. Yeah, she was fat. Oh, she's right there. She's right there. A gravid female, and she's so beautiful. Dude, she's right here. Look at her. All right, we gotta be real gentle because she has some eggs inside her. Look at her. Oh, tubby. Mama. Hey, look at her. She's so cute. Oh, whoa, Spider Man. Oh. And they're also called Spider Man commas <laughs> because they can climb up walls like nothing. I can't do that. She's so fashionable. Come here, Mama. It's called Gravid. Let's put it on the screen. Gravid. That is the term for a pregnant reptile. The one that we couldn't catch. Let's go. You must make a swampy wish. They wish for the biggest male red-headed agama. Oh, man.
May my wish come true. That's a Florida hot dog right there. Ready to go right there. There he is. He was hiding in the dumpster. He used his wife as a distraction. <laughs> are you kidding me? Wow. These guys are too smart. Horrible dog. Here. I'm gonna go in the dumpster and he's gonna go on the outside. He's right down in here. I just saw him go down. He's probably under that carpool. Yeah. Bro, you got this. I hear him scuttling around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I meant to do that. Oh, there you are. Oh, my goodness. I think he got away. So close, I could taste him. Looks like he started building a house for his family. Maybe it's a good thing we didn't get him. Everyone deserves a place on this planet. Get out, look. Oh. Never mind, let's get him. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's gonna go up. He's gonna go up. She's right here. She's right here. Pull on the other side. Here. On the other side. Right here, right here. Corner, corner, corner. Here, here, here. Right here. She's big and beautiful. Oh, there's another one here. You go after this one. <laughs> I'll get this one. Oh, there's a big one right here. Oh, there's two. Man, this guy's got a lot of girls. Look at her, look at her, she's right here. Hold on, Zeke. Ow. Ow. Did you get impaled just now? Ow, almost. All right, kids, never jump in the bushes. Ow, it hurts. But I'll live. Oh. Almost got my birthmark. <laughs> Ow. Let's keep hunting. It's all part of the game, like I said. You kids want to catch lizards, understand you're going to get hurt doing this. I need sleeves. Grab this part. Cut offs all day. <laughs> it's a perfect cut off. Yeah, I know. What the heck? <laughs> We're going to sell this on eBay for $30,000 to build the Serpentarium. Let's go get these sons of bitches. Thank you. Uh, Dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Show me what happened, bro. I, it looks like you got stabbed. I almost did. Oh my god. Guys, look at that beautiful red that gum over right there. Go, look, go that way and then around. Okay. He's up that tree. Looks like I'm going up as well. Ready to go. Parkour! So, be ready for this one. I'm ready, bro. Cardboard? Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Dude. One, you never know what you'll find in the trash. <laughs> one man's trash is another man's poking stick for lizards. Not long enough. <laughs> Alright guys, we don't want to cause too much of a ruckus here. It is an open bank and people are like, get out of the way, we're trying to go home. And my truck's blocking the whole way. So we're going to go find another spot. Let's go see if there's anything else out in this parking lot. It's huge out here. Maybe over there by the cane fields. Oh, there's one big male in that tree. Oh, yeah. he's sexy. I'll distract him. He's going up. I see him. He ain't going nowhere, bro. Look. Look at his body right here. Oh, perfect, bro. Oh, yeah, I see him. Oh, I see him. He's trying to hide. Oh, this is going to be a... Get ready. Oh, he's right here on this branch in front of me. That's what Stone and I grew up here. Oh, my rib. That's what, Stone and I, that's, what, ah, that's what Stone and I did growing up. Catching these lizards, invasive from Africa, a beautiful species that gets like a foot and a half. 
This is in the agamid family. They lay eggs, they eat insects, even smaller lizards because they get so big. And check this out, they have fangs. Let's show you those fangs, look at this. Let me see those fangs, look at that beautiful set of fangs for munching down on bugs. You see those fangs right there? Such a beautiful lizard. And we know this is a male because they're sexually dimorphic, which means we can tell what they are by looking at them. Beautiful red head, oh, blue and purple body like that. That's a male trying to impress all the females. Whew, look at that, look at the tail. And if you feel it going this way, it's absolutely smooth. But going the opposite way, it's super, super coarse. These guys will just tear you apart. Yeah, catching them in midair tears you apart like crazy. And what's really good about that tail too is if he tries to hide from a predator in Africa, sticks himself in a rock and only a tail sticking out, that spiky tail, that's something a lot of lizards around the world have adapted to do so they can defend themselves against that predator. Kind of like a deterrent, like, oh, mouthful of spice. I don't want to eat this lizard. And that's a clever little tactic that they've evolved to have. Dude, he's a beast. Look, he's even missing fingers. He's been through wars. Oh, wow. He's like, oh, mate. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, he's South African. Redhead here. Uh, how's it going? Just lost a finger, <laughs> had some, some brawls up in here, but it's okay. I'm with the boys now, it's all posh. Look at that, such a pretty lizard here. Hold on, that guy. Look, oh, look at that. It looks just like a bearded dragon, but found on a completely different continent. Look at that, let's get him into the light so we can see those purples and blues. That's what I'm talking about. We, look, he's even changing color as we interact with him. See on the back of his arm right Look here. how purple he is. Even when you touch it, it goes more purple. And Stone's holding this lizard so gently right now. We're not trying to hurt him at all. We're just gently holding him in position and he's changing color to adapt to the environment, trying to see what he can do next. That's how smart they are. When they see us coming after them, they dull out real dark to match with the tree branches. That's what the last one did. And he was clever enough to get away. But they're so smart. The second they make eye contact with you, they know what's up. And that's the key to lizard hunting. Don't make eye contact. Oh my God, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Red-headed agamas here in Florida, invasive species. Now we're removing them. We'll give them to our little cousins or maybe one of our friends so they won't live the rest of their lives out here in the Florida habitat. They'll get a nice new home in captivity. That is just too cool. Red-headed agamas. Hey, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And what's up with that bus? And also when it comes to mating, this is how they find their mate, right? The male with the most beautiful colors, that's who the female goes after. Ooh. If I was a female red-headed agama, oh, I, baby, I'd take I you on a date. You. <laughs> I would choose, I, baby, you Pokemon, I choose you. And also, as you guys saw earlier, those females are like beige, and sometimes they'll have these cool butterfly patterns on them, so they're completely different from the males. Look Look get all that on camera, let's do a replay. Look at that. Got him! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> It right in the air, drop it. It's all about teamwork when hunting lizards. Whether well, you're in Africa, two fingers on this side, one, two, and then one on his left hand. You know, I put That's money insane. on it that it's this big one right here, and they're fighting over the same girls because their trees are right next to each I other. I wouldn't doubt it. These guys are so territorial, it's easy for them to just want to beat each other up and rip each other's fingers off the tips of their tails. And it's all about who's the bigger lizard, who's most beautiful, who's gonna get the most girls. It's all about territory in the natural kingdom. Look at him, he's completely changed now like a gray coloration. This lizard has changed colors three times in front of your eyes. How amazing is that? Reptiles, not just lizards, crocs, and other species of animals will adapt to their environment so they can survive. Look at that neck now, there's white spots. Look at that, completely different lizard. Stone, you're my brother. Come on, man. Nate and Phil is our family. That's where we met. We'll always be friends. Guys, if you want to check Stone out on his channel, check out Stone's World. He's doing crazy content. Yes, sir. ATV, going out into the woods of Florida, fishing, anything you can think of. He's a Florida man. He's going to go do it. And also check us out on the challengewildlife.com to get your own merchandise. You can, you can look like the Lizard King just like me. Cut your sleeve off and put it on your head like this. And also, if you guys want to contribute to the Build Out My Facility because it's costing a buttload of money, you can contribute at the contribute button on the website. Here's the link. Thank you guys so much for everything you do. Thank you for supporting my wildlife. Stone, let's go get some meat. Let's slither. Time to share what we got. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> hey. Hey. How's it going? How cool is that? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you're, a little, you're a little frisky. Uh, these are the ones that have the, the blue bodies and the red heads, but when they get a little stressed out from capture, they turn dark like this in purple. Oh, that's the one I see all the time out here. When we first caught it, it was neon red. All right, well, we don't want to harass you guys. We actually wanted refills on our drinks. Gotcha. See you on the next one.
All right, no more jokes. <laughs> mm, serious time. Stone, do serious face. Mm.